So genetics don't even matter. Forget that bullshit people are telling you. That's a cop-out. That's what they all say. That's what we all say. Oh, it's genetics. My genetics are better than yours. All right, so genetics. Genetics are gear. What's it all about? Well, a lot of people have long voiced the opinion, vehemently, in fact, in many instances, that it's all bullshit when people tell you that it's all genetics. It's about the genetics. It's about the genetics. My genetics are really good for building muscle. Or I'm a hyper-responder. There's no such thing as a hyper-responder. It's not about genetics. It's a lie. It's a bullshit that, that guys like me say because we're, we're haters. We're the haters, actually. Roles are reversed. We're really the haters. We don't want you to catch up, much less surpass us. Yeah, like it's 60 years old, I give a flying F if you catch up or surpass me. I'm 60 for God's sake. I've been doing this forever and ever. Surpass what I did at your age. And if you've already surpassed that, good on you. But now, please, please, I can't even, I can't even reproduce the results I used to get. I, don't, I can't even reproduce the physique I used to have. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a mere shadow of my former self at my best. So what the hell do I care? You know, they, why would I bullshit you, right? But I hear this all the time. Oh, it's not about genetics. It's about the PEDs. It's about the gear. It's not genetics. That's bullshit. Without the gear, you'd be just like everybody else. Well, Greg Deshay, of all people, um, well, I shouldn't say of all people. He, he, he's quite, quite prodigious as far as putting videos up, he's grinding. He puts a lot of videos out, a lot of videos. He's working. But, uh, so it shouldn't be surprising that I found a video that he put up that I, I stumbled across because you can't help a trip over from all over the place. Uh, yesterday, I believe, about um, a fellow who is on the biggest cycle that Greg says he's ever seen. And wait do you see what the guy looks like. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up He's the one with Greg surmises to be about the equivalent If it were all just testosterone, okay? Because he's on a lot of really powerful substances He's on shit that's more powerful than Trend He's on all kinds of, you know, really strong shit Plus, He's got a mixed bag of shit Plus the guy takes 200 and 50 milligrams of anadrol pre-workout. Do you know how insane that is? His liver is probably ready to fall clean out of his asshole. Anyway, so he's on a ton, a ton of shit. And Greg, just to uh, be relatable to, to what most people might understand, he guesstimates that it's probably about six or seven grams worth of gear if it were all just test. So the guy's actually on like a total of something like five grams, I think, of gear a week. A week. And it's all kind of crazy shit. He's on just a few of them. He's on 1,250 mg of test a week. He's on um, six milliliters of EQ, bold none. Greg says that that's the equivalent of like 1,800 milligrams because he's, he's rating the EQ to be 300 milligrams. But unless this guy has revealed that as such, you know, real EQ was only 50 milligrams a milliliter. Real EQ. Not underground lab bullshit, all this stuff. So I don't know where he gets the 300 milligrams number. I guess he's talking about underground shit. But if he's ever seen real genuine, uh, he probably wasn't even working out back then. But if he's ever actually seen real genuine EQ um, from, you know, of, as a veterinary drug manufactured right here in the good old USA by Upjohn. That shit was only 50 milligrams a milliliter. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. It's a drop in the bucket compared to the rest of it. You know, the thing that really kills me is the 250 milligrams of Anadrol pre-workout. That's absolutely insane. Genuine, real shit. Real shit. Like I've experienced, you know, decades ago, real shit. 250 milligrams of that, you would be out of your frigging mind. You would be psychotic. Anyhow, let me put up a few pictures of what the guy looks like so you can see for yourself the physique he's got. And then you tell me, if it's all about the, the PEDs and genetics don't play a factor, what's this guy's excuse? What's happened here? What's going on here? If genetics have nothing to do with it, 
and it's all about the gear and with the right amount of gear you can make a mouse into a, into a, a lion or a mouse into a mountain um, what happened here what happened to this guy where's his where's he falling short at because he sure is on enough gear what do you think he needs to take more yeah so this is just one example I mean I see it all the time in the gym as many people as I speak to you know, because they, they, they don't mind talking, you know, breaching the subject to me because they know what they're taking. And then they look at me and they just assume, and what happens when you assume? You know what happens when you assume, right? They just assume that I must be on so much more than them, multiple times with their own because they don't look anything like me. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely insane. You know, so what well, I see it in the gym, I see, I don't know, lack of work ethic, Lack of discipline, because the diet can't be on point to support that, you know, because it, it, it just can't be. They can't be eating right. Nutrition can't be right. I see a lot of shitty training, ineffective training for building muscle. And I see a lot of men that are taking more gear than I take, and they, they don't, you know. So it is genetics. It is work ethic. It is discipline. It is perseverance and tenacity. It is consistency. It's all those things. It's all those things. You cannot just take a magic potion and you're going to, voila, get up tomorrow morning and be a beast. It's not going to happen. That's not how it works. You know, people that say that kind of shit or bitter people that can't get past it because they have to find an excuse. Um, they, have to, they have to try to rationalize, well, I'm taking all this shit. How come I don't look like these guys? Damn it, they must be taking something I don't know about, or they must be doing something secretive, or they must be taking so much more than me. How can they be doing it? Because they're haters. They're bitches. They're betas. They're betas. That's what, so when, when, when I hear shit like, oh, if you weren't on the, the gear, without the gear, you'd just be another guy in the gym, you'd just be a regular guy. Without the gear, those little betas would be even, even less of a man than they are then. That's what I got to say. Want to hear the truth? That's what I got to say. Now, doesn't apply in every case. Doesn't apply in every case. But I'm talking about the overwhelming majority. When I walk into the gym, most of the guys in there are on something. And they damn sure don't look like it. They damn sure don't look like it. So, you come to your own conclusions. If you're natural and you're lifetime natty, congratulations to you. God bless Natty pride, you know what I mean? I'm a lifetime heterosexual, right? Pussy pride, <laughs> you know what I mean? Big fucking deal, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Do you and let the next man do him. When did we become a society of men that are so concerned with what another man is doing? When? That other man might be hell in bed with his old lady too. You know what I mean? He might be able to burn that ass up and, 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 and you're just trying to find your way stumbling through and not satisfying anybody, maybe not even satisfying yourself. You're going to hate them for that too? Yeah, I don't know, man. People crack me up. I can't, I can't understand it. And again, it's not everybody, but it's the society that we live in. It's just a, a, one facet of a multifaceted breakdown in masculinity in our society today. Anyway, that's it. You make of it what you will. You know, like I said, if you're a lifetime natty, congratulations to you. Good on you. I was a natty for 12, 13 years before I, you know, really got into this, uh, the gear thing. And I'm on the downhill end of it now. I'm up over the hill, over the hump, and down the other side of it now, for God's sake. You know? Um, but if you are a natty and, and you're one of these haters on anybody that's augmenting their testosterone levels in today's society, where testosterone is, is like less than half, of what it should be if it weren't for all the toxins and the shit we've done to the environment. The shit that's in the clothes we wear, the shit that's in the washing detergent, the shit that's in the ground growing our food out now, the shit that's in the air, the fucking cell phone you guys can't live without that you're on 24-7 that's ready to burn out your retinas basically and it's hanging right on your side next to your balls irradiating you and, and you blame everything else but you, you don't have the, the fucking stick to and you don't have the... the, the tenacity to just go ahead and say, well, screw all this. I want to try and, and, and help myself as best as I can. Maybe I don't need the cell phone right up against my balls 24-7. Maybe I don't need to be on it 24-7. Maybe I don't need to be 
you know, go home and lay on the couch and drink fucking Budweiser and, and, and watch TV and stuff my mouth full of chips and then, you know, bitch about other motherfuckers that are out there getting things done. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Measure yourself against you. That's a good place to start. First, measure yourself against you. Be in competition with you. If you aren't happy with you, then you do something to change that. That's it.